Hello, and welcome to Real Illusion Hints and Tips. iClone 2.5 Character to Character, linking characters to individual character and prop nodes using the Link To feature. In iClone 2.5, characters can be linked to other characters to create interesting animation via the Link To feature. Most assets inside of iClone 2.5 carry this new ability, allowing users to attach or link to characters together or characters to props, making it easy to create rich interaction between your characters and the animation you apply to them. When you link a character to another character, it will move along with the motion of the latter one. Depending on what node you select will determine where exactly the linked avatar will actively animate. This is able to be customized in the character link to subnode menu. In this tutorial, you will create interaction between a ventriloquist and his puppet So let's go ahead and get started now. Linking character to character with the link to feature. Step number one. Open iClone and place two custom avatars in scene. You may choose to edit and customize their appearance to fit the character's personality. In this case, we are creating a ventriloquist and his puppet. Use the default avatar body styles to fashion your characters if you like. To begin, choose an avatar to turn into a puppet. Then go to avatar character, modify, and use the body style and adjust size menus to develop the proper puppet proportions. Step number two. After sizing your puppet to the proper proportion, you need to attach him to the ventriloquist right hand. Do this by scrolling down in the modify panel and locating the link to feature. Use the down arrow icon to open the Link to Selection menu and choose Character 1. Then click the Link Node icon to activate the Link to Subnode menu. This is where you will be able to select individual nodes for each asset in scene. Character 1's set of nodes will be displayed and select the avatar's right hand or R hand. Do this by using the plus arrows to navigate to the right hand itself. Be sure that you have the Align Position to Parent checkbox checked in the On position and then click OK to apply. Step number three. Now that you have the puppet attached to the ventriloquist right hand, you will need to use the character position tools to place the avatars back on the right hand of the ventriloquist. Also, now with iClone 2.5, you have the ability to click directly on the asset in the viewport that you wish to affect, hold the Alt key plus the arrows to quickly move the character, and hold the Control key plus the arrows to rotate the character. Quickly position your character in the proper position. Step number four, select the ventriloquist avatar and then go to animation, motion, template, and choose a standing motion. In this case, we are using the communication volume one motion pack and the standing present mail standing motion. Any motion will do, but for the best results, Use one that has the avatar's right arm out to the side in the traditional position that hand puppets are held. Step number five. Select the puppet avatar and then go to animation, motion, template, and choose a sitting motion. In this case, again, we're using the communication volume one motion pack and the casual mail 04 sitting motion. Any sitting motion or pose will do, however, you may need to reposition the character slightly depending on what motion you choose. Step number six. To polish off your scene, add a 2D background. Go to Scene, 2D Background, 
template, choose the graphics folder, and then scroll down and select stage 02. Now you can use the play pause button to review your linked character animation. Notice that the puppet will retain the sitting motion while attached to the right hand of the ventriloquist. The entire puppet character will also move in accordance with the avatar standing motion via the Link 2 feature. The Link 2 feature is a powerful way for characters to interact with other characters, props, particles, and more in iClone 2.5. Learning the process of accessing and selecting individual nodes in which assets can be attached is a great idea. Using the Link 2 subnode menu to achieve this is a quick and easy way to create awesome custom animation and interaction in your next real-time production. For more information, please feel free to visit www.realusion.com or contact technical support.